went in for a recall for the air conditioning unit. Hello and welcome to another video. If I got about five or six minutes of chatting about what's wrong with my car, I wanted to bring you some updates about my car. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe down there. Um, share them with your friends. I have car reviews as well. I have DIY stuff like I've just done this. Insulating my conservatory roof. There's a video on there how I did it that you can do it if you want really want to but anyway um, I want to try and spice things up by putting my um, action camera inside my car while I drive and talk to you while I drive um, I'll, I'll switch to the inside of the car and explain to it now and then I'll get back to you after that um, hope this isn't too boring but yeah so we are in my car I've just done a few errands just going to mum's to drop off a, a few things in the, in the garage because I've just insulated my um, conservatory roof so I'm just dropping a few things off to the guys to store them before I go on holiday and um, so I yes like I said I'm in my car my car did go to be mended as I said in the previous car video my car went in for a recall for the air conditioning unit the wiring loom that was fixed and they did a health check on it I watched the video back and the health check said it had a blowing exhaust it had it needed all four or two drive shafts replacing which includes the speed sensors as well it had an oil leak which meant it, mean it needed um, a new sump come on fuck say man um, it needed a new sump and it needed a few other things doing to it. So a lot of things have happened to this car. It being to be said, two and a half grand to fix. I was like, my car's not only worth about three to three and a half. I'm not pay, paying two and a half grand when the car's only worth three and a half to four grand max. So I took it to the this um, garage and they do for this local to me that does my MOT, my servicing. And uh, they, 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 put, they, let it, they put it in, I went for a run, they get it an hour, they checked it over and said, yeah, it needs a sump. Um, I took it in on the Monday, didn't get it back till the Friday, so I went, oh, during that week I insulated my, my uh, conservatory roof while I was doing it while I had no car. Um, so basically, um, they had to order stuff because of snow and everything like that, um, and the weather, stuff didn't come. They ordered a sump, it arrived, it was the wrong one. So I said, right, what is actually wrong with the sump? They said, it's just got two holes in it. I said, can you weld them up? They said, yes, I can weld them up. So I said, right, weld them up, please. It works, I'm not about to spend a hundred odd quid or whatever on a sump. And the oil light hasn't come on, touch wood. Um, I had, um, it was only the, t the two rear um, uh, drive shafts that needed replacing. They cost Paul, but for me it would have cost about 150 quid each for the, for trades. I would have said it for 80 quid or something. I don't know, 100 quid each, 80 quid each plus that. And obviously they had they had to arrive. They didn't come for a while, about two or three days. For some reason they didn't come, um, so I had to wait for that. And the um, exhaust wasn't too bad to be honest. They, they just cut it. They've got, you can get replacements. It's the flexi bit which is underneath me. It was blowing, so they just cut it off and they put the new replacement in and it don't blow anymore. Uh, um, speed sensor on each wheel needed to do because the ABS light came, kept coming up. Because, the, because when you replace some certain things like with brakes, when you replace brakes, you should really replace the, um, the brake leads as in the, um, the sensor that tells, you, tells the car when there's no, when the brakes need changing. You get a lead with it. Like anything on wheels, they need cables to tell the car if something's gone or something's wrong with it. So that costs about 60 quid per lead, so that's 120 quid. The drive shaft shafts cost um, about 100 quid, something like that each. Um, and that's so basically it costs about 650 pounds. And they also, while they were, while they were dropping the um, the oil, I said, how much? What what was an what was an interim service cost? They said, oh, it's just basically a chip. Drop in the oil, change the oil, put a new oil scent, oil filter in, done. So I said, okay, cool. Could you please do an oil um, thing? So I have to, have to change the oil anyway with the sump. So I said, you just do the oil change and I'll pay for the um, for the oil filter. So they did that. Um, and 81,250 miles for, 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 
for like a 2010 car that's ridiculous that's like less than less than 7,000 a year this car's done in retrospect um, I put up a sale uh, BMW never goes to BMW get stuff to a BMW unless it's under warranty because it's just ridiculous that overpriced overcharged yes so that's the issues I had um, now as I said in the video the car is fixed Whenever I hear that bing, I always think, oh geez, what's up with it in here? Thankfully at the minute it's just the um, the cold, three, below two, below three degrees, light telling me it's cold outside, which I already knew. Um, a lot of people are saying, keep the car because you fix, a lot of people fix the car, then they sell it. And then you get another car and you've got the problems of the other car that, that may be there. That's true, maybe I should keep it for now. I'm not going to sell it between now and New Year anyway. It's up, it is up for sale on Facebook and Spock and places like that um, for about 3.8 because uh, it is worth 4 odd four with the 81,500 miles is on the clock, which is nothing for a 12 year old car basically. Well, almost 12 year old car. Um, but uh, I'm quite chuffed that I didn't, that it was a fairly, only a quarter of the price of what, um, what BMW ch um, charge, said they charged me. Um, so I've, so that's a good thing, don't go to BMW on stuff doing it unless it's under warranty. They cleaned it out as well, which is great. Because I had a smell in my, um, in my boot, as you all know. That's not there for some reason now, which I'm not complaining. Um, just um, this new um, petrol. This E10 or E5, whatever it is now, doesn't do well with the car. It is compatible, but it eats more fuel, so I might go to premium unleaded because why not? BMWs need good fuel, so I might just put premium stuff in for now, see how it goes. Um, I appreciate all the support you give me, all the subscribers, 248 subscribers so far, 120,000 views throughout the channel. Um, I've had thousands and thousands of views on some videos and none on other videos one that i think are doing well and not done well um would you keep my car if now it's been mended or would you get rid of it while it's fixed before before anything else goes wrong with it let me know in the comments below um give me a thumbs up as well if you think it's a good car would you stick with the car and um, what would you replace it with it's either i mean a cash car is quite nice uh, uh focus um, estate is quite good or just a focus in general um, a Cougar's alright but it's, it's a bit out of my price range at the minute and um, a Leon estate not an FR map it was just an S, um, a 1.4 1.2 TSI it's still got some pull on it um, and obviously if, if I have a turbo on it like an EcoBoost or a TSI or something like that I can actually get it remapped um, and, uh, and, and boost it even more so that's an option um, I, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. As I said again, should I could I should I get rid of it? Should I keep it? I don't know. Um, yeah, and um, as I said, I insulated this roof or DIY style from what it was. You can check out the video. Just check that out. Um, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all very soon for another amazing video. Bye bye.